Hello everyone, and today I will be explaining what exposure bracketing is. So AEB, which is short for Automatic Exposure Bracketing, is a feature pretty much found on every DSLR camera. So if you go into the quick menu of your camera and you select the exposure bar, then you proceed to turn the main dial, you will notice three dots appear on the bottom of the exposure bar. As you continue to turn the dial, you realize that the range of these dots increase, they start to spread out throughout the exposure bar. Automatic exposure bracketing is active when you see those three dots. So each one of those dots on the exposure bar represents a photo that will be taken at that particular exposure. So if there's a dot at zero, and there's a dot at negative one, and there's a dot at plus one, then a total of three photos are going to be taken. One is going to be taken at zero, which means it's going to be unchanged. One is going to be taken at negative one, meaning it's going to be exactly one stop darker. One at plus one, meaning it's going to be exactly one stop brighter. So each one of these dots on the exposure bar represents one third of a stop. So if I set my AEB to plus minus one stop and I set my shooting mode to continuous. So now if I hold down the shutter button, it takes three photos and then stops. The first photo, it's taken it at the setting that I've dialed in, one over a hundredth of a second, f2.8. The second photo, it's darkened it by one stop for me. And the third photo, it's brightened it by one stop for me. Now AEB also works in single shooting mode, you just have to take three photos instead of just holding down the shutter button once. Your camera will also show you through the markings on the exposure bar which photo it's currently taking, the normal one, the underexposed one, or the overexposed one. Now automatic exposure bracketing is usable in manual mode, aperture priority mode, shutter priority mode, and also program mode. It can even be used in conjunction with exposure compensation, it will just simply move the entire bracketed range up or down. Now in AEB, the camera will try to modify your exposure settings by using the exposure time itself, aka the shutter speed. With the exception in shutter priority mode, it would try to modify your exposure using the f-stop instead. So what is this feature used for? Most commonly, this feature is used for HDR photography, whereby you take the first photo to expose for the midtones, and then you take a photo to expose for the highlights, and then you take another photo to expose for the shadows, and then you merge all these three images in post, and it gives you a sandwich, I mean HDR image. Another situation where you might find yourself using exposure bracketing is when you're shooting a scene with tricky lighting. For example, a backlit scene with very harsh highlights and very dark shadows, and you're not quite sure about the exposure, so through exposure bracketing, you take a whole range of exposures just to be sure. On most cameras, you also have the option to tweak some custom settings for automatic exposure bracketing. For example, you can change the bracketing sequence, the sequence in which the photos are taken. If you do not want it to take the undeviated photo first, followed by the negative exposure, followed by the positive exposure one, you can tweak it to negative, zero positive, or positive, zero negative, for whatever reason. You can also change the number of bracketed shots. On my camera here, you can set it to a maximum of seven, so when you set it to 7, basically it takes one image in the middle and it takes three incrementally darker image followed by three incrementally brighter images. So that's pretty much it for exposure bracketing. If you have any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Let me know as well if there's any other way you have used or would use exposure bracketing. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.